That's a Krav, Challenger Armoured Repair and Recovery Vehicle. A noisy beast for sure, but with immense power. It's currently got the job of trying to ride a chieftain tank that's gone over on its side. Great training for Remi recovery mechanics. Uh, it is good, it is good fun. Um, most difficult thing is definitely the kit. That was very heavy. Um, yeah, a lot of the things are free man lift. So that's basically three people, you know, chipping in to try and get it down, trying to lift it up, especially when vehicles are turned on the side, upside down or, you know, in water, and you're wading through water, trying to carry all the kit, and it does get a bit arduous. For myself, the old and bold, we're passing down our knowledge as well as obviously the core skills, but our knowledge of the platform, 21 years on Craven and Warrior, it's, we've got the skills that we can pass down to them. Well, they said how heavy the recovery kit is. There's no better way of finding out than uh, trying to lift one. <coughs> it's heavy. <laughs> oh dear, that's heavy. That is really heavy. This tank is stuck fast. Simple job, just drag it out, you'd think. But it's far more complex than that. For a start, it's too heavy for one of these vehicles on its own, so they've got to work in tandem. Then there's the added weight. The water and suction effect of the mud could add to the tank. Also, a broken track or other damage could add drag, again, placing more work on the recovery vehicles. A lot of calculations have to take place before the right pulley systems are put in place. And because of the incline, it's a two-stage process, meaning that for a while at least, these wooden chocks have to hold the tank in place. They're now reconfiguring the pulley system so that the tank can come up the last bit of the hillside. That takes about 15 minutes and is done with immense care before finally the tank can be dragged the last few feet up the hill. This course is relatively new and it enables about 250 Remi soldiers to progress from Class 3 craftsman status, which means they can't work unsupervised, to Class 2, which means they can work independently. There are also Class 2 personnel getting the skills needed to get up to Class 1. Really good opportunity for a couple times a year just to come out here and actually get, get involved with the trade and, and actually uh, engage in doing the skills that we don't, we don't get to do in our day to day. Here, metal workers are welding a Challenger 2's track. They wear the distinctive blue fireproof overalls and elsewhere are working in workshops fabricating everything from latches to bar armour. Just a sample of the training which sees 135 instructors give an astonishing combined 30,000 hours of training in just three weeks. The training could take over a year to get through if they were doing it with their units. To give them that opportunity to do that in, in a far more focused package, it is far easier to deliver uh, in, in that sort of manner uh, and therefore absolutely um, brings back a better um, uh, capability to, to the army. A fleet of Land Rovers getting some attention. So at the minute we're taking off a Land Rover water pump, uh, going through how it works, the whole cooling system. The course so far has been good. Um, I've been at unit about six months, straight out of phase two, and it's been quite beneficial to be here, to be fair. Um, you know, being at unit offers different challenges, but coming here, taking it at a slower pace, going through it. And that ability to take things slowly and learn in an environment where it's safe to fail, as the instructors put it, helped the engineers gain confidence quickly. Hold the switch down until it reaches that position, and then... And they're really pushing boundaries. Here, learning how to build circuits and then code them. Looking at here, basic theory of how electronic circuits work. We're going into a very high-tech equipment in the future, so we need to make sure we are trained and capable to repair that. And we're able to spend um, quite a, a serious amount of time looking at the theory side and then moving straight to the practical. We've got, no, we've got nothing coming up in between that means we, can, we have to stop. or it's, it, it's just been quite a useful... Exercise Iron Challenge gets vital training done in an environment especially designed for study and practical work, rather than on the job back at units. And it's seen as a real improvement over how things used to be done. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Longmore Camp in Hampshire. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.